He's the short vacation taking, copyright free music listening, coffee for the road making, your favorite morning ho host. My name's Adam Josh, that's what my mama named me. Welcome everybody to the morning banana show number 56. I am in a rush, I'm not going to lie. I am literally just stopping at my shop to collect some water, some coffee, and then uh, I'm going to skedaddle this water bottle that I put on the, that I put on the water machine is like sideways, I hate when that happens, it's like squished. Why you gotta play me like that? Makes me want to take it off and reset it, but I know that's not a good idea. Whatever. Stay like that, you weirdo. Alright, everybody. So, what's going on? I mean, uh, I had a little bit of a short vacation. I went to my favorite vegan farm stay and animal sanctuary located up in uh, I would say a little bit I would say that's about northern Ontario northwestern Ontario it's called uh, they call it Pyburg I've been mean, trying to get in now if you want to go and see what I was up to. You can find them online. Just look up Pyburg Vegan Farm Stay. You can find them online and uh, try to get in now. See what the future holds for these fine folks. I know that they're always busy. It's hard, like, if you are... If you're a city vegan or a cupcake vegan, it's hard to find somewhere that you can go that you'll find people uh, of similar values when you're a vegan that will also have uh, farm animals on their property, like rescue animals from various slaughterhouses and goat and chicken industries. It's hard to find <clears throat> uh, people like that. So when you do, we've been there three times. Um, but this last time might have been our last time there. Might might be our last time going. So we had a good time. Had a great time going. And you know what? 
I would eat this banana with you guys, as I usually would on a morning banana show, but I would prefer to eat it on my way up to the restaurant construction site, as I have uh, people waiting for me there. Man, I'm I'm uh, I'm in rough shape. I am wearing dress shoes. I'm going to a construction site. Ugh. Means I have to go back home. Oh, let me check the shop here. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, so yeah, uh, what's up with me? I've been working at that construction site, and and I've just ran out of coffee. I have to get more of this Starbucks stuff. I'm taking all this with me in a thermos, so I'm not sitting down and hanging out with you guys. Hold on a second, getting creamer. I might take this creamer up with me too. Yeah, but then at the end of the day, <clears throat> I'm gonna come back with a bunch of steel doors. I don't know if you've been following the construction project. If you follow me on Twitter, follow hashtag restaurant4, and you'll see that um, there's a bunch of steel doors that we've been talking about back and forth for a while, and uh, I'm gonna bring them back basically. So that'll be a fun trip tonight. Um, a lot of work to do. I have an, I had an order arrive there of drywall, poly vapor barrier, tuck tape, some odds and ends to make another wall. I had a, an order arrived there this morning at 7.30 and one of the staff have to go uh, wake up early and, and receive it there. I really don't like involving restaurant staff in my business and stuff that I do. Uh, I like to keep it separate. So you may hear me talk about you know 120 staff uh, here and there, um, but I don't. I don't see them as a labor pool, as a worker worker force for my personal thing. And plus, when you start using I really don't like doing it because when you start using restaurant staff for like help, they, then it's like almost like playing favorites, I mean, which is my prerogative to do. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of doing that because other people will be like, "Well, you got you got to go like you get paid to go work with them." And they tell everybody, and then when I go into the restaurant just to fix things, they, they look at me with these different eyes. Like the other day, I walked into the, one of our restaurants. I walked in one of our restaurants to fix something in the back, and this kid is like, this kid that I was using helped me. He's like, Mr. Adam, how are you? He's googly eyes looking at me like that. And I'm like, I'm fine, man. Can I just go back to being the mechanic in your mind? Can I just go back to being the guy, the janitor? Can I go back? Can we reverse the clocks to me? You don't know who I am and I come in the back door and I fix the plumbing issues and leave. Can we go back to that? I don't like what you're doing right now. So, it's not my uh, my cup of tea, you know? My, I don't complain when my private jet is subpar. Um, there's no doubt that I'm number one at the top of the humblest and my, that my apple pie is by far the most crumblest, but I act like it tastes bad. I'm not your normal definition of a rock star. I don't complain when my private jet is subpar. I'm gonna save my banana for the road, guys. You've been great. I'm not gonna talk about uh, headlines and news today. Uh, you know, Biden 2020. Biden 2020. Make sure to go out there and vote, you know, because... Uh, uh, Canadian politics are worse. That's why we didn't even talk about them. All right. 
Take care, everybody. I gotta get back to work. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com or follow the hashtag Restaurant4. You'll see what I'm up to today. It's a miracle that I was able to squeeze one of these out. Morning banana. You know what? I will have a sip of coffee. One sip. Ah! Man, that's good stuff. Alright. I have to load up my truck and get out of here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Gang signs.